Hello everybody, it's me and Princess Tart here and we just wanted to do a quick video to say hi. We've been very busy this month, haven't we, yes, Princess Tart? Yes, we Tart? have been very busy. And I've been gone a lot and I'm finally home and we're getting ready to have a tea party. And so we just thought we'd do a really quick video to talk about something that we've been doing together lately. Do you want to tell them what we call it? What do we call it? I forgot. Self-esteem police. Self-esteem police. <laughs> Because Princess Tart and I sometimes call ourselves stupid and, and, idiot. and idiots when we get frustrated with ourselves. Which, why should we not do that, Princess Tart? Because it's little being ourselves, and we shouldn't do it because we shouldn't do it to say to other people, or we shouldn't do it to ourselves. Right. If we wouldn't say it to other people, because we don't want to be mean to other people, then we shouldn't be mean to ourselves. So, we... Are doing the self-esteem police where if I say something ma mad, if I say something mean to myself or bad about myself, then Princess Tard has to let me know. No, Mom. Remember, we're not supposed to do that. And then if she does it also to herself, then I need to be her policeman and let her know that she's not supposed to do that. So we're like officers. We're officers. We're self-esteem officers. And it's been good so far because yesterday I got really frustrated with myself because. I went to the store to buy toilet paper, and instead of toilet paper, I grabbed paper towels, and I didn't realize it until we got home, and so we still don't have any toilet paper, but we have paper towels, and so I was very frustrated with myself, and I said, oh, I'm such an idiot, and Princess Tard let me know, mom, remember the self-esteem police, and I said, oh, you're right, I shouldn't say that about myself, I should love myself, so thank you, Princess Tard, for keeping me on track. And I think with school starting, it's going to be really important to remember to have good self-esteem and love ourselves because I think it's easy when we go back to school to start comparing ourselves to the other kids and, you know, maybe one has a really cute backpack that we wish we had or, or you know, one of, one of the girls can dance really well or something. And we should remember that we should just love what we have and who we are and not worry about everybody else. What's are you stuck in your dress? Yes. <laughs> her foot was wrapped up in her dress. But you look beautiful. She's all dressed up for the tea party. Let's tell them one more thing, one more bit of advice for starting um, the school well, year. Well, I'm excited to see new friends. Thank you for joining us, and I want you guys to remember that you need to be your own self-esteem police and maybe grab a friend to help you out so that you guys can help each other be kind to yourself so that you can help your self-confidence. Because if you're mean to yourself and you're constantly telling yourself bad things, then you're going to start believing them. And that's going to make you an unhappy person. Yes. So believe that we're good enough and we're smart enough and we're beautiful. And we can do whatever we want if we put our minds to it. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay. Isn't that right, Princess Tard? Yeah, it's right. Yes, yes, it's right. That's right. <laughs> okay? We love you guys. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Mommy. Say bye. Uh-oh. 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 What does that mean? That means he broke something. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you dumped out the sewing kit. There's needles and pins everywhere. Oh, no. Say, uh-oh, Mommy. Uh-oh, Mommy. Uh-oh. Time to go clean it up. Bye, you guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Want to say bye? Bye. Mm.